The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Problem number eight, we're asked to find a polynomial of degree three that has the zeros two plus i and three. So what that tells you is that for the function to be zero, we know that x equals three is a solution, and we know that x equals two plus i is a solution. So what's important to note here is that when you have a complex zero, they always have to come in pairs of complex conjugates. So if you know that two plus i is a zero, you also know then that 2 minus i has to be a 0. So here's our three zeros, and that makes sense because we have a polynomial of degree 3. So what we want to do is express these as their factors and then expand it to find the actual polynomial. So here we have x minus 3 times x minus 2 plus i times x minus minus i. So we need to figure out what all these are and then expand them. Now that could looks like it could be a little tough. One thing you can always do to make these a little bit easier is if you distribute this negative here, minus i, x minus 2 plus i, you can see that now by grouping these in this way, we have a difference of two squares because we have x minus 2 minus and x minus 2 plus the same thing, i. So that makes calculating these two a bit easier and then we'll deal with the x minus 3 afterwards. So here this is x minus 2 squared minus i squared using the difference of two squares. So minus Subtracting i squared is the same thing as adding 1. So we can expand this. So this is x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 1. x minus 3. So now this is plus 5, really. And now we can just expand uh, that all together. I'll write now at the top. So in multiplying something that's two terms by something that's three, you just have to make sure that each term goes to all of the rest. So we'll multiply everything by x first. We get x cubed minus 4x times x is minus 4x squared and plus 5x. So that was multiplying all three terms by x. And now we're going to multiply all three terms by negative 3. So what you want to do is write them in uh, lined up so that your math is then easier afterwards. So we have minus 3 times x squared, so we'll write that under the x squared here. Minus 3 times minus 4x is plus 12x, so we'll write that there. And minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. So you can see now, if you just add all these together, it's already lined up. So we're going to get x cubed minus 7x squared plus 17x minus 15. And that's our polynomial that has the three zeros there. Um, so you can see that that is answer choice B in this case. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.